Hello guys, hey, RipperX here for FPS Guru and MMORPG.com. I'm here with the one and only Dean Rocket Hall, the man behind Daisy and the Daisy Standalone. How's it going? Yeah, good thanks, man. Welcome to E3. Cheers. <laughs> right on. So last time uh, we spoke was at PAX East. It was. And you were, it was, yeah, and you were about to embark on a trip to Everest. How was it? Good, I came back alive you with my alive. fingers and toes, so. <laughs> It's awesome. got to be good, right? Absolutely. Did you um, did you get any inspiration from that trip? I'm sure. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's it's a once in a lifetime experience. Um, what do you take back? Are you going to bring anything from that trip into Day Z, possibly? Or yeah, well, uh, I mean, there was a lot of like I guess interesting stuff uh, that happened on the trip. I right. think definitely for future games, there's absolutely stuff there. Nice. But uh, in terms of Day Z, I guess the biggest thing for me was uh, I came back with a real resolve to make Day Z a good game. I think beforehand I was wavering and thinking, oh, we should just slap it together and push it out. <laughs> but I think when I came back, I was like, no, nope, we need to do this right. And, you know, even if we end up losing, like, customers because we've been too long, you know, we need to make sure those who big, those full Daisy fans actually get something that's, that's, that's worthy of their attention. Absolutely. And um, so there isn't a release date yet, but it is, it is on the horizon, obviously. Oh, yeah, very uh, imminent. Very imminent. Like, it was soon before. Now it's really, really soon. It's close. So. It, what's exciting is we have a build here, which is a build that I have not seen yet. So yeah. It's a lot newer build. And you essentially said this is from today you got yep. this. Yeah, literally so. today. So that's our approach at E3. Cool. And I guess the big caveat I have to add, we, we, we're not doing an E3 showcase. It's just the latest development build. Right. So there's stuff that's broken that wasn't broken yesterday. And then there's new stuff. And yeah. Right. So. Um, how are the radios? I know they've been implemented. Yeah, radios are okay. great. Um, it's, it's kind of a pain. Uh, we couldn't get it like working with LAN or something because it's great to be able to show people. Like it's a multiplayer game, right. so right. it's not that much fun if it's not. Go play Project <laughs> Zomboid if you're playing yeah. like you know. Yeah. Totally, totally. You want to dive into it and sure. take a look? Or? Awesome. So yeah, I think I told you last time about the screen and the characters' clothing and stuff like that. But right. yeah. Yeah, so one of the things we talked about last time, oh, I'm just going to get that zombie because he's going to make my life really difficult. Ah! Ah! Uh oh Okay. Now, you mentioned that some zombies that have not eaten in a while, they become slower or they will become slower. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't got that implemented in the alpha yet. Okay, but um, it's an idea. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so now, I'm a bit safer in here now. Uh, maybe not. Really should have. That's what I mean, like, not doing an E3 showcase. <laughs> so yeah, last time I showed you the basic rudimentary stuff of the inventory system. Now we've actually got a lot more of the meat on it. Um, so, you know, it's a lot more, again, drag and drop. Um, and uh, we got the first lot of the crafting system. So what I actually have here is two maps and my quick bar. You can, it's like Minecraft, you can move it around, choose your quick bar and access it with the keys. So I can... I can have segments of maps. So this is one corner of the map. It's another corner. So you find the segments of the maps. And then as a demonstration of the crafting system, if it goes orange, you know you can craft it. And then you put the maps together. And uh, now I've got a, a map of Northern Tuners. That's, that's awesome. I know you mentioned, um, I mean, the crafting system is pretty detailed. I mean, can you pretty much craft anything, anything that you can find? Or, I mean, like you said, I guess. Uh... Yeah, we, we've tried to keep it within realistic parameters. Okay. So basically, over the last uh, few months, we've been focusing on the architecture. So there's not a lot, lot of content in there yet, but the whole process and system's there. So here's an example. That's dirty pond water. You can actually use um, purification tablets uh, to fix them. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, you can drink it and, and all that kind of stuff. So. I, I, th I think I saw a question. Uh, there was a comment on one of the YouTube uh, videos. Someone said, is it possible to poison water? Someone else picks it up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Crazy. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff in <laughs> okay. there. Yeah. And uh, weapon attachments are a big new thing. So I guess the whole the whole scavenging thing now is, is much more uh, implemented than when, than when I showed you. Right. We've also spent a lot of time working on uh, player animations and player movement, so they feel a lot more fluid. This this build seems a so much smoother. I mean, before yeah, it was, it's it was a lot smoother. It's very smooth, and it's, it looks very nice. Yeah, you're being kind. It wasn't very smooth <laughs> when I showed you it. Uh, it was, I was just so excited to see it. How's how's the space bar? I know you talked about your weapon goes down when you hold the space bar. Is that still implemented? We actually or? scrapped that. Okay. okay. So what we have now is because 
Because we it sounded like a great idea, right. and it was a great idea for five minutes, and then it was a pain <laughs> in the ass. Makes so, sense. So what we have yeah. now, you'll notice, if I push left mouse button, the weapon gets raised, and it'll stay like that for a bit, and then go down. So we felt that was a good compromise. So it's kind of like Armour 2, but it's it's changed a bit. And there'll be a variety of factors that will affect when the weapon goes down. So you see the weapon goes down. If I want to bring it back up again, I just push the button. And he'll actually, see now he's actually staying with the weapon as, and he can fire from the hip. So we, we've put a lot of work into, into, into trying to make the character a lot more fluid. You can see when he goes down, it's a lot more fluid when he goes down. And, and getting back up as well. Our new skeleton allows us to be a lot more realistic with right. it. Right. Yeah. That looks, it looks a lot more fluid. Very we have cool. a bug where the sequencing of the zombie attack doesn't go with the effect. Uh, but you get the basic idea. And you can see how now the zombies can actually knock you over and, and things like that. So we wanted to make the make everything feel a lot more fluid. Yeah. Everything seems a lot more detailed, even the zombies. I mean, you can just yeah. see. The jumping attacks are pretty cool. Have you guys set a, a price yet for the standalone? When it's no, released? no, okay. we haven't. We keep talking about it. It's, it's going to be less than Armour 2. Oh, I've run out of ammunition now. <laughs> yeah. Some people have asked if they have the, the Daisy mod, will the standalone be free? <laughs> yeah, I get asked that a bit. Look, we, we thought about it, we yeah. considered it, but on one hand, well, the logistics of it is just too difficult. Right. And on the other hand, uh, you know, we, we need to we need to make DayZ into an actual, like, profitable enterprise, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, like, I don't feel bad about that. Like, the best thing that DayZ can do is be a good game and be successful, and then we can continue development for, like, one or two years. Yeah, so we've replaced the road textures. Uh, the grass is all new. All the vegetation's uh, been redeveloped. Yeah, and there's interiors everywhere, and they've all got loot. So we're actually, we've, it's actually, the engine's actually designed to function like an MMO. So we can have, like, 150, 200 players on a map. That's amazing. So it, it can go up to 200? Yeah. Wow, okay. Very cool. Well, and beyond. Different. Yeah. But there's a limit, design-wise, to what, right. what you can actually right. do. Yeah. Oh, that's good news. That makes me happy. That's a, that's a lot. Um, that's going to make for some very interesting uh, experiences in the cities uh, day and night. Exactly. You know, around the game. Awesome. Uh, is there anything you want to add at all in terms of uh, in terms of the game or? No, I guess yeah. yeah just to reiterate <laughs> that when it comes out, it's going to be an alpha. So um, and uh, you know very much so, and that that's kind of important to our our approach, like. We've, we've done so much, oh, now I'm going to die, I'm just going to push that. Um, we've done so much that we need to get people's feedback. There's a lot of stuff that's going to change. The, the base level we want to provide when it comes out is the very, the base experience of DayZ, the very foundation experience. And from that, after we've released over the next six months till, till say the end of the year, um, we'll, yeah, we'll refine that experience. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you, I am so excited. I cannot wait to I'm play I'm excited this. too. I, I think there's a lot of people out there that are very excited for this. I was playing it the other day and I was like, <laughs> we were like, this is actually starting to be fun. <laughs> like, especially with radios, like, uh, it's not that fun in single player. Like I right. say, like, people should go play Project Zomboid. Awesome game. Right, but like, once, once, you, once you get a packed exactly. server, you can utilize that. Yeah. And that's where, where it's going to become really exciting. And people can be very creative in their own ways. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from it, so. Awesome, Dean, thank, thank you so much, man. All the best, it's good to see you oh, again. Always good to see MMORPGs. So. Awesome, man, thank you so much. <laughs>